Okay, so um, we have the Tough Box mini, mini gearbox in the kit. We could have used that out of the kit on our AM1 for you. But we wanted a, a high end speed, plus, we wanted the ability to have a, a torquey low end to be able to position ourselves and maybe push some people if, if we're getting blocked. Um, but really, we wanted we wanted a, a, a chase speed to go after a ball in the corner and, and, and have it acquired quickly. So we, we decided on a two-speed shifter, which we can use a sonic shifter and use and put it right into the wide AM1 for you. Whole patterns um, match up nicely. All we have to do is we have to have a different shaft for the sonic shifter, different output shaft. So that'll be pretty easy. I think Rachel and Liz are working on that now. Um, we chose... We chose the um, some speeds here, so I've got a, an Excel file that I use. It's pretty simple, and we looked at some, a couple different ratios. Um, this says super shifter, but it, it can be the sonic shifter. So if you if you put in a sim gear and a large cluster gear, and then the the dog shifting gears and the drive gear and the driven gear. And you put in a four inch wheel, and you put in a one to one ratio here. It comes out with a fancy calculation of linear speed of feet per second. So we are calculated at a 15 and a half feet per second top end and a, about a four feet per second bottom end. That spreads pretty wide. So if we try it out and we don't like it, we can always take the gearbox apart, put in different gears that we have available to us, and we can go with a 12 and a half in feet per, per second top end and a five feet per second low end. So the neat thing about these gearboxes is if you don't like them, you can take them apart, put in different gears and have different speeds. Um, so that that's, so we have these spreadsheets that, that help us out um, in choosing the right gears to get the right speed for a four inch wheel drive base. So over here, um, Okay, so what we're doing is we've got a we've got a, a drive base here with the sonic shifters modeled in here, and we've have a we have a battery with a battery mount box that's going to be a standard battery mount box, and we're using um, just some some tubing here on the side, and we're looking at rolling in a 24 inch ball into the belly of the robot, and then we're going to launch it. And we're launching it this way, and that's what you see those guys working on is the is the launcher, and they they tried a pneumatic version, and now they're looking at um, a shifting dog gear winch version. So I'm working on the design that gets the ball in and collects it up there. It's going to be a pretty low profile robot, meaning low CG, um, very maneuverable because of the low CG. We're gonna, we're going to be pretty quick. Um, our Achilles heel, from what I can tell so far, is we are blockable. So if, if you're shooting from a low position, you might be blockable. So but we think we can we, we can depend on the driver to get around our defense and go, get to an open area and just shoot the ball out or um, pass it or shoot it over the truss or into the goal. So that's what we're doing.